get that C4 rig quick. If they see us, we're dead. I'm on it. Just another few seconds. Huh? Da no henna! And there's your henna! Foley is being held in a small building northeast of the bridge. Secure the position, then rescue Foley. Intelligence indicates that the best approach is along this dry riverbed. This border checkpoint is heavily guarded and should be avoided. When Foley was captured, the guards took his C4 plastic explosive charge. Find the C4, then use it to blow the bridge. Use the C4 to destroy the upper central struts of the bridge. Return to the landing zone with Foley for helicopter extraction. Alpha 2 leader, this is Alpha 2-1, over! Roger that, Alpha 2-1. What's your status? Over. The Iraqis have been making probing attacks for the past hour. Don't know how much longer I can hold this position. Over. Understood, Alpha 2-1. We've drawn a position blue, and we'll be with you in 10 minutes. Over. Roger that, Alpha 2 leader. Falling back to position blue. Over. I'll hold them off. Alpha 2, priority message. The Amir's emergency beacon has just activated at a marketplace 200 meters to your west. He is in immediate danger. You must get to him now. Control out. The Amir and his entourage have been ambushed by forward elements of the Iraqi invading force. Get to the ambush spot and rescue the Emir before he is captured or killed. The Iraqi forces have deployed Russian-made BMPs and T-62 main battle tanks in Kuwait City. Destroy any you encounter. Corporal Connors, your heavy weapons specialist, is waiting for you at position blue. Rendezvous with him as soon as possible. Get the Emir and your team to the extraction point, where an RAF helicopter will fly you to safety. not neutralize it, this small guard camp is likely to compromise your mission. A stealthy approach on the camp, followed by the setting up of crossfires, is advised. Infiltrate the airbase via the southeastern canyon. Avoid the heavily guarded main gate. Use C4 charges to destroy the SAM sites or the power generator. Locate the airbase mainframe room and remove any information regarding the position of the Iraqi Scud launchers in northern Iraq. 
to disrupt Iraqi aircraft operations, destroy the MiG fighter planes and the base's fuel dump. Exit the base for helicopter extraction. Okay, boys, you know the drill. Intel says this is the area from which Iraq are launching their scuds at Israel. We'll be inserted covertly by helicopter and make our way down the cliffs to this box camp. We'll start our search there. Okay, saddle up. Let's go. Start! Use your law rocket launchers or C4 charges to destroy all Scud launchers in the area. Ensure that all Scud missiles are eradicated by destroying any Scud support vehicles you encounter. Locate and destroy any self-propelled any aircraft guns operating in this area. This will ensure Allied air superiority. Destroy the signal booster system that powers the communication landline that runs parallel to Highway 10. Ensure its complete destruction by destroying the computer systems inside the bunker. When you have successfully completed all your mission objectives, get all surviving team members to the LZ for helicopter extraction. Locate and neutralize the Scud threat in Area 1 before they can launch their payloads at Israel. Once Area 1 has been cleared of Scud launchers, assemble your squad at the Canyon Road at the northern edge of the combat zone. Destroy all Scuds in Area 2 before they attack Israel. Once all Scud launchers have been destroyed, proceed to the extraction point and wait for helicopter pickup. How's he doing? He's gonna be okay, just a few broken ribs. Rescue copter inbound Alpha 2, estimated time to extraction, 15 minutes over. Roger that, Voodoo Control, Alpha 2 out. A pickup helicopter is already on its way. We'll be back to base within the hour, sir. We're not out of this mess yet. Anybody within 20 miles of here can see the smoke from the crash. Lieutenant, I suggest you stay here with your friend. The rescue copter will be here soon. Meanwhile, it looks like we could have company. So keep your head down and wait for pickup, all right? All right, boys. Anything comes down those canyons, slot them. Pick your spot and draw a line. And don't hang around when the copter gets here. A large Iraqi force is closing in on your position. Hold the plateau until the search and rescue helicopter arrives. Make sure the co-pilot and the gunner get onto the search and rescue helicopter safely. When the search and rescue helicopter arrives, defend it and ensure that everyone escapes safely. Alpha 
2 Actual, this is Eagle Eye. Alpha 2 Actual, this is Eagle Eye. Alpha 2, over. Alpha 2, we have incoming armor from the north, T-62s and BMPs with supporting infantry. I have a clear shot on the lead tank, Commander. You want me to take the shot, Alpha 2? Roger, Eagle Eye. Understand. Take the shot and then fall back to this position. Over. Affirmative, Alpha 2. Taking the shot now. Target down, Alpha 2. See you in two. Over. Okay, boys, we got company. Get ready for contact. Iraqi infantry squads have entered the town and are advancing on your position. They must be destroyed before they get a chance to dig in. The enemy has deployed several BMPs and T-62s. In the narrow streets of al Kafji, your squad has the advantage with laws. In open areas, use your radio to call in MLRS strikes. Two BMPs and supporting infantry, closing on our position fast! Heading this way. Okay, get that tow ready. You two, follow me. Lock and load! There are three static SAM emplacements guarding the bridge from air attack. Destroy the control trailers and the missile launchers. Satellite imaging has picked up thermal heat traces of a number of SA-8 Gecko mobile SAM launchers. Locate and destroy them. The Republican Guard has deployed BMPs and T-72s to defend the bridge. Locate and destroy all enemy armor. Laser designate the bridge for Airstrike Reaper-1. Reaper-1 will not start its attack run until all static and mobile SAM launchers have been destroyed. Once your team has successfully completed all mission objectives, head to the north of the bridge and escape into the desert. Instructions for the remainder of the column. Get a C4 charge on that tank trap. Canyon must be cleared of all enemy armor. Use the laser designator to paint the enemy tanks for the A-10s, or use laws on the rear of the enemy tanks. The Republican Guard has deployed mobile ZSU-23-4 AA guns. NATO designated Shilka. Destroy them to allow the A-10s to attack. The road leading through the canyon has been blocked off with hedgehog tank traps. Destroy them to allow the second cavalry to advance. Reaper three to Alpha two. Looks like I've stirred up a regular hornet's nest. The noise should give you enough cover to get in and get our boys back. Good luck. Reaper three out. 
Roger that, Reaper 3. Good job, and we'll see you on the other side. Alpha 2, out. Right, let's go get our boys back. Infiltrate the compound under cover of the air raid without raising the alarm. Liberate all POWs and escort them out of the compound. Get your squad and the POWs back to the overpass road tunnel, where a truck will be waiting to take you out of Baghdad. Fellas, let's go! The Iraqis have sealed the factory complex. Old sewers run underneath the whole area. Use them to find your way into the factory. Make sure Dr. Franklin comes to no harm. Without him, you cannot complete the mission. The warhead is being prepared for launch somewhere in the factory complex. Find it so that Dr. Franklin can defuse it. Make sure that Dr. Franklin comes to no harm. Without him, you cannot complete your mission. The Iraqis have a small supply of weapons-grade plutonium that could be used to make tactical nuclear missiles. Locate and remove the plutonium. Get your squad and the plutonium to the landing zone, and board the waiting helicopter. Attacking the main gate would be costly and would alert the enemy to your presence. Find another way into the fortress. The fortress is protected from air attack by several SAM sites. Destroy them to allow the airstrike to proceed. Eliminating General Aziz would essentially end all serious Iraqi resistance. If the airstrike fails, take him out by any means necessary. Once your mission objectives have been completed, make your way to the extraction point for pickup. victory in the Gulf. Headline news. Iraq has surrendered unconditionally within the last hour. Iraqi forces have already started pulling out of Kuwait or have surrendered en masse to Allied forces. Central to maintaining this coalition were Allied Special Forces teams that hunted down and destroyed Iraq's Scud missile capabilities. This victory was achieved by an unprecedented coalition of United Nations armed forces whose combined efforts have driven the invading Iraqi armies from Kuwait.
My countrymen and I are eternally grateful to the Allied powers for cussing out these invaders and returning our nation's freedom. I personally hope those responsible for our salvation and freedom are justly rewarded. Good to see you, gentlemen. Good work. Glad you could all make it. You performed above and beyond the call of duty. Time for some well-earned R&R. Ten hot! Thank you, sir!